Will AI replace SOC analysts as of right now in 2024? No, but let's talk about it. Some of the questions I get from the community is, should I be worried about AI or why should I still go for a SOC analyst role when AI is going to take over anyways? And those are all valid questions. But truth be told, AI isn't going to be taking over SOC analysts anytime soon. Sure, it can help perform basic analysis and provide additional steps, but it does not yet have the context that a human being would have. In other words, you should know your environment and situation a lot better than AI. For now, for AI to become better, it must learn using data. But some organizations are hesitant, as they should be, to provide their data to AI. Now, unless the AI is built in-house, you don't really know where that data is being stored once you upload it. So instead of worrying about AI taking your job, I would like you to shift your mindset and think about how AI can help you so you can become a better SOC analyst than you are today. Speaking of AI, Microsoft Copilot for security is being released, if not yet already. And that is going to be extremely beneficial in a SOC environment. If you have a chance, I would encourage you to try and learn as much as you can with Copilot and see how it can help you in your favor. But with everything else, do remember to always do your due diligence and research. The last thing you want is AI telling you to do something and you do it, but it causes a huge impact on the organization that affects availability. Always think about the business impact before you do something. With that being said, here are five examples that you can use to have AI help you in your day-to-day -day role. Number one is understanding the alert. I always tell analysts to think before they act. And this is true when it comes to triaging alerts. And of course, uploading data over to third-party sites, which include AI like ChatGPT. Just to be clear, I am not telling you to copy the entire contents, including confidential information, into AI. But instead, you can ask AI to break down the alert and what are some of the possible pivot points that you can look for. For example, if you receive an alert for PS exec detected in your environment, perhaps you can ask AI on what are some of the possible pivot points to look for or why should you, as a defender, be worried about PS exec. Always try and understand the alert before you begin your search and AI can help you with that. Number two is scripting. Coding can be extremely confusing for a lot of people, including myself. I cannot code from scratch and I personally use ChatGPT to help me create a first script when I want to automate something. And I encourage you to do the same. For example, if you notice that you're doing a repetitive task over and over again, perhaps you can think of a script that you can have AI help you create. And who knows, down the road, you might even learn how to script simply by looking at how AI creates the code. Number three is remediation steps. If you are just starting out as a SOC analyst, it is perfectly normal to not be 100% sure on what to do when it comes to remediation. I mean, for example, if there is malware on a system, what do you do? The answer should be to follow your process. But if you don't have a process, now what? Some may say, go ahead and unplug the laptop, run a virus scanner, or shut down your computer. What else? AI can provide you with additional options that you might not have thought of, which can be super helpful. Number four is understanding code. When you're in a SOC, it won't be long until you encounter malware on a system. And oftentimes, malware will have encoded strings or plain text code that you aren't exactly sure what it does. Well, you first want to consult with your senior analyst and see if they can help decode it for you. And if not, you can try asking AI to see if it knows what it does. Now, obviously, if there are any IOCs, you would want to switch it out to something else just in case. This can help you learn more about a specific malware's capability and could help you identify additional information, which will allow you to pivot and eventually provide more value into your investigation. Number five is playbooks. The last thing I wanted to share are playbooks. Similar to point number two, you can have AI help you brainstorm playbook creation. SOAR is becoming extremely prevalent in a lot of SOC environments and they work on 
playbooks, which are automated workflows. To be able to contribute and build or customize a playbook can significantly make you more valuable in a SOC environment. You can use AI to help you in a fake scenario by asking what it would do. And of course, you will need to do your due diligence and double check the work, but it is a great way to start. I do have to say that whatever AI spits out, you don't want to copy and paste it word for word because AI is not at that level yet. You must always double check its work and verify with either your experience or ask a senior analyst for input. Don't worry about AI taking your job. Instead, worry about the other SOC analysts who will use AI to their advantage because by doing so, they will level up that much quicker, making them difficult to beat. And that is it for the video. I hope you found that informative. And if you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.